We have a follow-up for you now on an investigation we first brought you more than a year ago. Over the past two years, North and East Lubbock Community Development Corporation has received more than half a million dollars from the City of Lubbock. NELCDC's mission is to promote economic development in North and East Lubbock. You may remember in February of last year we reported on possible conflict of interest by both city officials and NELCDC board members. And while questions linger about how the organization spends your money, there is new information that suggests the organization continues to be troubled. Investigative reporter Shaylee Sanders joins us now with the latest. Shaylee? Karen and Abner, we have confirmed that North and East Lubbock Community Development Corporation has asked the Lubbock County District Attorney for a criminal investigation into a possible embezzlement from the nonprofit by a former employee. We have also learned the nonprofit that uses your money to operate has not conducted regular annual audits. Just one more reason why City Councilwoman Karen Gibson says she continues to vote against using city dollars to fund the organization. All in favor? Aye. 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 I voted for it in the beginning, and then um, when you see things not changing, <laughs> you begin to not vote for it after that. North and East Lubbock Community Development Corporation is budgeted to receive more than $350,000 this year. That money has not yet been allocated because NELCDC has not presented a budget to the City Council. And while Councilwoman Karen Gibson agrees that North and East Lubbock needs attention. We need sidewalks fixed. We need ADA compliance stuff done. We need curb and gutter over there. Gibson says she will not vote in favor of using city dollars to help fund the nonprofit. So much of theirs goes to administration and insurance and travel and training and uh, board meetings and stuff that I just, I, I think those funds just need to be could be put to better use. And there is more to NELCDC's problems than questions from the City Council. We actually want to show you some of these letters. These are letters from the auditors to uh, the NELCDC. Mm -hmm. One dates back to 2009 and this one is from 2011. After performing the 2009 audit, NELCDC's auditors wrote, quote, we identified certain deficiencies in internal control over financial reporting. Two years later, the situation worsened. In 2011, auditors informed NELCDC that the deficiencies in internal controls had escalated into, quote, material weaknesses. We're told NELCDC is working to complete audits for the last three years. Do I like the way they do their audits? No. Do I like the way they do their budgets? No. Do I have any control over that? No, I don't. Now, subsequent to these warnings from auditors, comes word of a request for a criminal investigation into a former employee possibly embezzling money from the nonprofit. Through a Public Information Act request, we obtained correspondence between Lubbock Mayor Glenn Robertson and NELCDC Executive Director Monique Coleman. On February 13th, Robertson sent Coleman this email requesting the facts regarding these allegations, who has known about the issue, and for how long. Robertson writes that he has been informed the board and staff have known about these allegations for several years and have not disclosed this knowledge to the city manager or any council members. Robertson also asks if this is why an audit has not been provided and if current or past legal representation have been involved or have any knowledge of the criminal allegations. Robertson writes, quote, any LCDC is receiving taxpayer funds and we have the fiduciary responsibility to the taxpayers. We reached out to any LCDC's attorney for comment. She told us she could not comment on an ongoing investigation. We began asking questions about this latest revelation almost three weeks ago. Councilwoman Gibson says she learned I, about it I, last I week. And that may be why I found out was because y'all were asking questions. Several things have changed at NELCDC since we began our investigation more than a year ago. For example, Councilwoman Latrell Bright Joy's law firm represented the organization in 2014. We interviewed her law partner and former chairman of the NELCDC, David Langston, last year about his thoughts of a possible conflict of interest. I think it was, it was properly characterized as an appearance of impropriety. Now, a year later, a different law firm represents the organization. Also in 2014, we discovered the executive director of NELCDC was being paid a salary of $75,000 a year. 
while receiving a second salary as an employee of the city of Lubbock. The NELCDC has now hired an executive director who is not a city employee. City council members are waiting for the NELCDC to present its budget before voting on whether to allocate funds to the organization. Karen and Abner. Thank you, Shaley.